This theorem is a theorem that I really like, not because of the theorem, but because there is a proof that is non-constructive. It's a well-known proof, but just non-constructive proofs are so like shocking that I love that kind of proof. So let me go through that. So the goal is to prove that there are irrational numbers x and y such that x to the y is a rational number. So here is how the non-constructive proof goes. Let z be a square root of 2 to the square root of 2. And then there are two cases. If this number is rational, I'm not claiming it is rational. I'm just saying if it is rational, then... Well, a square root of 2 is known to be irrational, so this is an irrational to an irrational giving me a rational number, and therefore, I'm done. The other option is that this number is not rational, and then I can take x to be that number, square root of 2 to the square root of 2, and take y to be a square root of 2. Then this is not rational, so this is irrational, this is irrational, so this is an irrational number to an irrational power, and when I simplify using the loss of exponents, I get 2. So x to the y is 2, which is rational. So in this case, I have also found x and y such that x to the y is rational with x and y irrational. In both cases, whether this is a rational number or this is an irrational number, I win. And therefore, I've proved my theorem because in both cases, I have found x and y, except that it's non-constructive because I am not telling you what's, what's right. Is it this that is right or is that right? But it doesn't matter because in either case, there are x and y. And the theorem doesn't say, uh, show me the x and the y. It just says that they exist. So, yes, they exist, but the proof doesn't tell you what's what. The truth is that, in fact, a square root of 2 to the square root of 2 is not a rational number, but that is actually tricky to prove. Now, a different proof, which is constructive and actually much simpler, is to take x to be a square root of 2 and y to be the logarithm in base 2 of 9. Because when you do the algebra of x to the y, uh, using the fact that log 2 of 9 is twice the log 2 of 3, uh, that simplifies this to be just 2 to the log 2 of 3, which is 3, which is rational. And um, all you have to show is that the square root of 2 is irrational, and the log t in base 2 of 9 is also irrational, which is not hard to prove. I will leave that as an exercise, uh, but that's a much simpler proof uh, of that theorem.